and welcome back to Minecraft Survival. This is part 55. Last time, we did a lot of digging. I'm hoping this will be the last digging episode. Probably. Probably not, actually. But anyways, uh, off-camera. Well, I guess technically off-camera. I mean, what I actually did off-camera was I finished digging out the hole, and I did a bit of smelting. I got some stone, stone bricks, a bit more glass, and also... What I didn't do off camera, but it was about 20 minutes footage, and my computer decided, hey, I don't need to work properly, I'm just gonna crash. I'm just gonna crash and burn and explode. You don't need any of this footage, right? It's just really good footage, but anyways. So that was incredibly infuriating. But basically, what I did is I made a bunch of water breathing potions. Awesome. I guess I'll show you the gigantic hole that I dug out. It's kind of neat, but anyways, basically, I made a bunch of water-breathing potions, had enjoyable commentary over it, that's all gone, don't remember what I said, though. Sorry, I'm just really frustrated with my computer. But anyways, this is the hole, it is very, very deep, so, yeah, if anything falls down that, it is going to die, but... Anyways, I was thinking at some point in the future, I could probably expand this to be like ten times the size, and maybe put it, some kind of structure in here. That'd be kind of neat. But anyways, actually maybe this would be where I'd put a beacon. If someday I got a beacon and I wanted to use like, the haste effect, then this could be where I put it. But anyways, uh, moving on. Let's see. Did I do anything else other than make the potions? Uh, oh yeah. I set up an outline for like, basically what I plan on doing this episode is a, a project that I've been talking about since the first episode. And that is, hold on, I wanted to do stuff with the ocean. I wanted to make some kind of structure out in that area because... Although I really wanted an underwater base, and also, whenever I like, swam out there to get clay and stuff, to make the bricks for the um, smeltery, I found a large, like, wide open mm -hmm. flat area. So, that is basically what we will be doing for today. So, I'm just going to swim down there. And, also, I had set up, like, a little outline for the area that we will be using. Uh, you know, I was thinking we didn't need the night vision potions, but apparently we really do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I guess, I will be doing some potion brewing, because I need to make night vision potions. It is impossible to see down there. I'm glad I didn't grab another, um, what's it called? I do not remember what those things are called. The, um, water breathing potions. I'm glad I didn't drink another water breathing potion, because that would have been a waste. But anyways... Uh, so I guess I need to make some more bottles. Just like so. One, two, three, there we go. Fill these all with water. I believe how you make night vision potions is you have golden carrots. So I'll need three of those. But first, I gotta make some awkward potions. Let's just do that. Boop, boop, boop. And there we go. All the water bottles are in place. One, two, three. I'll need redstone to make them last eight minutes. Uh, nether wart. Nether wart. Nether wart. I'll go ahead and put this bottle up. Uh, I guess I'll start making the golden carrots. Do I have any carrots? Yes, I have 14. Just need 3. Uh, then... Don't remember the exact recipe for a golden carrot. Is it this? It is. Okay. Which means I'm going to need 3 ingots in total of gold. Kind of sad thing, but oh well. It's just gold. I can just go down to the mine and find, like... 30 of it instantly. And I guess I 
I actually forgot. I do have a gold farm, don't I? And I haven't been to the gold farm in literally, like, what, 20, 30 episodes? It was originally meant to be um, experience farm, but that didn't work out. <laughs> Turns out pigmen are a better source of gold than they are experience. But anyways, I guess I should eat some food real quick. Oh, that finished brewing. Make that longer. Make that longer. Make that longer. And there we go. Now, we just gotta wait for this to brew. Alright, there we go. And that's how most of our inventory got filled with potions. Uh, Alright, now we should hopefully be able to see. <laughs> that would be helpful. Uh, I'll put that over there. Um, I guess I'll drink the night vision first, and then I'll drink the water breathing potion. Just so I know that if the night vision runs out, I definitely need to grab another water breathing potion. So, anyways, night vision, water breathing. And there we go. Now let's head down to the area. Yeah, that's a lot better. You can see really well now. But that little square thing is what I plan on having as an underwater base. Basically what my goal for this is, is to make a big underwater dome with maybe like outgoing, or not outgoing, they're high achieving. But, um, like, I don't know what it'd be called, just tubes like running off of it maybe over to different domes. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Basically, I just want to make a big underwater base that is entirely self-sustaining. I do not want anything here that I have in... Like, basically, I want to have everything that I have in my big base, like, down here. So, like, food, an enchantment table, nether portal, everything. So... Now, whenever I make circles in Minecraft, I usually do not measure. <laughs> it's probably a terrible idea, but usually I just kind of look at it, see what it looks like. If it looks good enough, then cool. <laughs> but usually I end up messing up. Uh, I'm going to have to swim up to make sure this doesn't look terrible. One, two, one, two, one, two. One more side. Hopefully this looks like a circle, instead of just a rounded square. I guess that's what most circles probably look like in Minecraft, but... Um... Yeah, that looks like a circle. So now what I need to do is I need to go to the center of one of these sides. Center block. I did measure this right, right? Yeah. So I need to go to the center block and go here and here. All right. So do that on every side. Now, basically, what I'm doing now is I'm kind of building support-looking things to hold up the glass. So whenever I build the actual or fill this in with actual glass, it won't just look like it's a glass thing. It'll look like it has some sort of support. Uh, one, two, three. I'll make this at least three high. Oh. Okay. Um, how would that look? Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Fill that in. Do the same over here. Or should I fill it in? It might actually look cooler if I don't fill it in. Um, I'll leave it unfilled for now, so I'll break these. Uh, anyways, also, this episode is kind of an experiment to see if I can make a video longer than 15 minutes, because in the past I have not been able to upload a video longer than 15 minutes. You will be actually watching the video, so you'll be able to tell if the experiment failed or succeeded. Basically, if, if the video says part one, and is only 15 minutes long, you'll know why. Okay, so then 
take that up another block. I really should have some kind of like dirt or something that's really easy to break. Just so I can kind of... Oops, I did not mean to place those two blocks there. Break that, break that. I really should have dirt or something that's easy to break so that I could do this easier, but oh well. I'm sure it's fine. I also think it might actually be cool if I had a dome with like a tree in it. Nah, I'm just going to keep it as like a clubhouse type thing. Uh, I guess I'll come to that whenever I, I actually get to it, instead of thinking about it now whenever I haven't actually built it yet. I also don't want the top of this to be too close to the top of the ocean, so I don't want it to be too tall, but I want it to be taller than it is wide. So basically, kind of like a bullet shape. But like a round, a very round pool. I don't know. <laughs> I am probably describing this in the most confusing way possible. But yeah. Um, like that, like that. Go around to each side. Make it too taller. And okay. Make that taller, make that taller. A lot of this, for the actual dome building process, will be me going around in a circle, doing the same thing over and over. So it'll start getting kind of tedious, but oh well. Um, make that two. Make that two. Break that. You know, I probably could be using my efficiency pickaxe, but oh well. That would have... There would be a lot smarter if I would just do that. Like, it's in my inventory, I'm, or I have it with me right now. I'm just too lazy to switch over to it. Is that the last one? Nope. One more side. And now, we're at the point where we actually start kind of curving over. So that will start, instead of making that be two blocks, now it's just one block. And then, instead of actually building it straight up, I'll start building things sideways. So basically it's like a little curve. And I also need to decide whether I should do two blocks of one or just one block of one. That probably doesn't make any sense, but yeah, that just probably doesn't make any sense. Um, let's see. Basically I'm trying to decide if I should just have it like this and then the next row start going straight out or if I should have another block of one. I'm thinking I'm going to do two blocks of one, instead of just the one that I have now. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, now is when I start actually building horizontally instead of vertically. So, now I'll have two out like that. And I'll do that on every side, and I actually think I'm getting pretty close to the top layer. I might actually just have one more little area. I have that, or this might be the top of the dome. I'll have to see what it looks like from the side before I can decide on that. But I'll just do this real quick. Yeah, this is looking really cool so far. Um, should that be the top layer, or should I have one more layer? Yeah, I think I'm going to have one more. So for the top layer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have these meet like that. This will go up. Oh, no, didn't mean to place either of those two blocks. Okay, I'm messing up. Oh no. I'm gonna break this very slowly. Any second. Okay, and then I gotta break this. And now, yeah, it's probably just easier to do this. And now, I'll just go around like that, break these two real quick, and I'm now thinking I should probably actually have these corners be on the top part, and then have that as, or be a square. Yeah, that is going to look better. Alright, I think with that... The outline of this should be done. So now I gotta decide whether I should have bands going around it to make it kind of look a bit more stable, 
or if I should just have it open. Um, if I have bands going around, I'm probably going to have two. Uh, yeah, I'll do, or I'll go ahead and do that. So, just basically, I'm just going to kind of section it off so that it looks kind of like it's made out of a bunch of plates instead of made out of, I don't know, um, not. You know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to go get a bunch of glass just so I can make this a thousand times easier. I just ran out of glass, I think. Yeah, I just ran out of the glass that I had brought with me. And this is what it looks like so far. This is only half of it. The other half is on the other side. And I think it's starting to look good. I'm not too sure. Oh, yeah, I'm running out of um, effects. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab some more resources. Ah. I'm going to go grab some more resources, sleep, and then I'm going to continue building. One thing I have definitely started to realize is just how much sand I'm still going to need. Oh, I forgot to actually drink any potions. That would be bad if I just swam down there and was like, oh, I can't breathe. Alright, drink that, drink that. So, yeah. Like I was saying, one thing I really didn't think about is just how much sand I'm still going to need even once I have this completely finished. Because, wow, this is going to take a long time. I think this is actually the biggest project that I've done so far. So that's kind of neat. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start finishing this half of it. Just so I have the actual I don't know, design. <laughs> is I want to make sure that I do not mess this up. Alright, I am officially halfway done with the first dome, or possibly the only dome, I don't know. But this thing is going to look really cool, definitely from the inside. It's probably going to look 10,000 times cooler from the actual inside of it, but currently it's still pretty cool. So I'm actually technically more than half the way done because I just have these three spaces to fill in because those spaces are filled in, but anyways, I should probably get started. We have officially finished basically the entire dome. We still have this area, and sadly, we have ran out of glass, I think. Oh wait, no, we still have some glass. Never mind. We have finished the dome. Yay. This is what it looks like. It kind of looks like an underwater birdcage. So, I guess, uh, let's see. Potions are wearing off. Water breathing. Night vision. There we go. Safety. Alright. I guess now what I need to do is I guess I'll just dig into one of the sides. I'll have this be my entrance from now on. And I guess I'll put up any resources I have in my inventory. And I will... I guess I just gotta start filling the thing from the top to bottom with dirt so I can start emptying it with water. 
This is going surprisingly quickly. Oh yeah, another thing that I forgot to do is turn off the chicken farm. Oops. Uh, it's not good. Just like killing chickens. Alright, there we go. And I guess I'll throw any eggs I got in here. Uh, I guess if the chicken is your favorite Minecraft mod, probably should have looked away. Now it's going to be by far the easiest part of the video. But it is also going to be the longest lasting part. Because filling this entire thing with dirt is literally going to take forever. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it took me, like, an hour to do this. So I'm just gonna have the entire thing as a time-lapse. Alright, with the amount of dirt that I had, I was able to get down to here, and then I'd just have this little space left, and then I'd have that area. So, I'm pretty close to being done filling this with dirt. I am realizing how long it's probably going to take me to empty this, and that won't be fun. But, yeah, I'm going to go grab more dirt, and then, I'm, while I'm up, how much time do I have? Yeah, I'll probably end up making a few iron shovels, enchanting them and just making them all around better. Taking a quick trip over to the blaze farm is apparently I can get efficiency 4 on my shovel if I have level 30 enchantment. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think I am almost done filling this with dirt. And there we go. Hold on. Gotta dig this out. And now there we go. So now what I need to do is I need to take my diamond shovel. I enchanted specifically. Wait, what? Uh. Okay, there we go. I need to take my diamond shovel that I enchanted specifically for the purpose of doing this. And I need to dig this out in like four seconds. In fact, I don't even think I'm gonna time lapse this. Once I get to the top, it should just go like a knife cutting through better. Yeah, this is gonna take like 30 seconds. This is so much easier than actually filling it in. I know something I could have done to do this is just gotten like shovels, or not shovels, um, gotten like sponges and stuff and then cooked them every time. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> not only is it hard to get the sponges, I'd need a lot of them for the effect. Oh, and yep, I'm running out of water breathing, which is fine. I just need night vision currently. So, yeah, this is really satisfying to watch. I'm really glad I did this. So, I'll just go until this is at like really, really low dirt. I wanted unbaking free on this, but apparently it decided silk cuts is more important. Although, like, that's something that really annoys me. Like, I know that silk touch is good for, like, I don't know, like getting grass, but that's all it's good for. At least on a shovel. I wish you could do something like maybe have silk touch on, uh, what's it called, a pickaxe. If you could pick up 
Oh, this is almost the lowest um, durability it's probably going to get before I have to put it away. Yeah, I'm going to start. I'll finish this layer with this shovel and then I'm going to start using the iron one. I'll probably time lapse the use of the iron one because it's not enchanted. So put that away. And the, let's see, how close am I to the floor? Not close at all. Okay. This is going to take forever now. <laughs> Yay. Uh, eventually I want to get mending on all of my diamond tools. Uh, until I get a mending book from fishing, which I still need to do a fishing episode. Um, or I just need to make an automatic fishing farm and stay at it overnight. But either way. I still need to do that eventually. But once I do, and once I have an unbreaking, three, yeah, an unbreaking three book and a mending book, definitely gonna put them on the, the diamond shovel first. I guess I should probably actually put it on my pickaxe first if I get a mending book. If I get two mending books, I'm gonna put it on pickaxe and shovel. This is a lot slower now that I'm using iron shovels. Oh, there's a lot of monsters in here. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh. Of course this would happen. I forgot to light it up before I left. That's a big hole. Oh man. Okay. I guess I'll patch up any holes that monsters made with. Oh man, that is really annoying. That's a lot of glass they broke. <sighs> this is what I get for not making extra shovels. go. I think I've got all the dirt in my inventory. Oh, never mind. Still pick up a bit more of it. Oh, never mind. I got plenty of room. But anyways. Actually, I was just about to leave. Oh, I already had torches out. I was just about to leave and say, alright, let's go get resources to patch up the hole. But I am not leaving this time without making sure this place is thoroughly lit. I don't want a single thing spawning in here. Okay, bats maybe are fine, but nothing else. I'm putting 30 torches in here. And I'm also going to kind of hope I don't die on the way up. Because I don't think I have the ability to breathe for long enough to get down, or at least up. Well, let's find out. Okay, I made it. That was surprisingly stressful, even though I technically didn't even lose any health. But anyways, I guess that's what it looks like currently. It'll look slightly better once I have that patched up. So, yeah. The funny thing is, I'm pretty sure like half of the dirt that I put in there actually despawned and I still almost have a full double chest of it. Oh yeah, something I also probably should have mentioned at the beginning of the video instead of like right now. If you hear any sounds in the background, that's because there's currently a lot of stuff being like put together and moved around and basically there's like construction and repositioning and modeling of different areas going on in the background because we're getting new furniture and stuff, so we want to make sure everything's clean and everything's out of the way. So if you hear anything in the background, that's what that is. And one thing I'm really glad about is, now that I've ran out of night vision potions, I can still actually see this space, or this dome, because, well, now I don't need night vision to see it. So, I can actually get up and down from the inside of it, without having to worry too much. And finally, after 
what has it been like an hour and a half I've been working on this, plus the extra time of whenever my computer crashed. I finally have this dome finished. Now next episode, there's two things I could do. I'm either going to do a bunch of fishing, or set up an automatic fish farm or something like that, or I'm going to work more on the dome, and maybe furnish it, finish it a bit, maybe add in an actual entrance so that it's not just this. And so yeah, that is what I'm going to do, or I'm going to do one of those two things next episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you- wait. Oh. I just realized I don't have my skin. Well, I gotta fix that. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.